If your kid came to you on fire, would you say, I'm so glad you trusted me to tell me you're on fire, that if I put out the fire, that's going to really hurt and you're going to end up with scabs anyway. So I'm just going to love you where you are right now. No, you, you throw them on the ground and you start rolling them. You get a blanket and you start hitting the flames and they're going to say, you're hurting me. You're, you're beating me. You're controlling. It's like, no dear, hold still. I'm getting the fire out. That's what a loving parent does. Controversial family vlogger Ruby Frankie and her business partner Jody Hildebrandt virtually attended their first court appearance last Friday to face charges stemming from their August 30th arrest. The two women continue to sit in jail on no bond holds and their next court appearance is scheduled for September 21st. A lot of people know Ruby Frankie as she rose to notoriety partially based off of her strict parenting style featured in her vlogs on her eight passenger YouTube channel. However, when she met and teamed up with Jody Hildebrandt, it seems like both of these women's true darkness was unleashed. This is what happens when evil meets influencing. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get into today's video. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and this is Sarah Spills. Let me tell you a little bit about this virtual hearing of Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt. It was a total shit show. I attempted to attend the hearing and it was a tech nightmare. I logged in and I was in the waiting room, but I accidentally closed the WebEx screen. I know rookie mistake and I couldn't get back in. But there was an option for other ways to attend. So I was like, okay, no worries. There's actually instructions for dialing in. So I did that. For roughly 45 minutes, all I could hear was people yelling at each other. Someone was saying mama into their microphone. And there was this persistent tone or beep. It was going off. I think it was every time people were being admitted into the room. At least that's why I think there was a beep. There was lots and lots of more yelling about people muting themselves and then finally the judge gets to speak a youtube influencer and a mental health counselor made their initial court appearances in the saint george on felony child abuse charges as new specialist andrew adams saw for himself the interest in this case is so high it nearly derailed the hearing andrew well at one point one of the lawyers outside the court told everyone that even the judge was having a hard time signing on to the online hearing with as many as 1200 observers some people even showed up in person to see the latest in a case that had both captivated and concerned them. It seemed a lot of people had the same idea. So many logged on to the online hearing. It clogged up the system. Because of the interest in these hearings today from the public and the members of the media, we've had some technical difficulties. Nearly 40 minutes after the scheduled start time. Ms. Frankie, can you hear me? Yes. Frankie and Hildebrand made their separate appearances to face their charges for the first time. Both women are being held without bail, and a hearing was scheduled to address that matter. She's aware of the charges. She's aware of the elements. She's aware of the potential penalties. Well, that hearing about the bail issue was set for September 21st, but it sounds like at least one of the lawyers has a potential conflict. So we'll have to see how that shakes out over the next couple of weeks. Again, both women being held without bail here in Washington County. And of course, just a disclaimer, I did not make any recordings. I just took notes myself because taking any recordings that are unauthorized are prohibited by the Utah court. Ruby Frankie has been causing controversy for years. I really feel like the majority of her views and followers actually came from people watching to see what outlandish things she would do next and also to make sure her kids were okay. In 2020, people really started getting concerned to the point of actually reporting her to DCFS. She was doing things like taking her oldest son's bedroom away for seven months and making him sleep on a beanbag and refusing to bring her six-year-old daughter lunch after the school called because they were uncomfortable with a six-year-old just going hungry. And here's the thing. Things like shelter in the form of a bed and food are not luxuries you can use as rewards and punishments when it comes to raising kids. These are things as caregivers to young people we are required by law to provide. Ruby Frankie and her channel had been on the public's radar because of the sheer number of subscribers she had and because of these very questionable parenting methods. 
things really escalated to an entirely new level when around 2022, Ruby kicked her husband Kevin out of the family home and she teamed up with Jody Hildebrandt, who seems to be her own very special brand of evil. But who is Jody Hildebrandt? We did some digging to find out. Hildebrandt founded Connections Classroom in 2007. Prior to Connections, she worked as a counselor at a drug and alcohol treatment center. Her bio on her ConnectionsClassroom.com page says, My style is compassionate yet direct and clear of what is necessary to fully change and champion any addictive or self-destructive behavior, whether it be ravenous addictions, feelings of worthlessness or inadequacy, conflicts in relationships, intimacy problems, communication breakdowns, and frankly, any block that prevents having and creating peace and joy. Jody Hildebrandt claims to have counseled thousands of people over the years. She says she's counseled families of all ages with her unique style of educating about the power of choice and the need for impeccable honesty. Hildebrandt and Frankie appear to be business partners. The Contact Us page on the Connections website lists Ruby Frankie as the contact. Photos on the website show the two together. Ruby Frankie is listed as a certified mental fitness trainer at Connections. Frankie and Hildebrandt are Mormons, and they talk about God in many of their videos and what they say he wants. This week, Jessie Hildebrandt, Jody's niece, spoke on YouTube about her aunt. Jody and my parents had a conversation. Jody told them to leave me with them, or me, me to like to leave me with, with her, um, and for them to just go and to not say anything and to just pack, pack up the things and just go. And so a few hours later, I get a knock on the door. I was asleep and it was Jody and my grandparents telling me that my family had left and I wasn't going with them and that my life was about to change pretty dramatically. But everything was revolved around my worth. So anything that gave me a sense of worth, I was not allowed to have anymore. I had really long, long hair that I loved, um, had to cut it all off because it gave me a sense of worth. Going to school gave me a sense of worth, not allowed to do it. Jody is currently still a licensed therapist in the state of Utah, but I have to imagine that that will change very soon. She did have her license suspended briefly when a client filed a complaint against her for breaking the patient client confidentiality. Hearing from Jody's niece, who uses they them pronouns, by the way, it seems like Jody has a long history of inflicting mental and physical torment upon vulnerable individuals left in her care. She espouses a philosophy of needing to break down a person in order to rebuild them in however she perceives is the right way to live. These two women coming together was really the perfect storm of when evil meets influencing. Ruby had the platform and the predilection to inflict excessive punishments on her children. Jody had the degrees and the certifications and the legitimate Oh, and both of these women have a shit ton of money. Together, they form this business under the guise of helping people. But if you watch any of their videos on their connections Instagram, it's all a bunch of word salad. What they actually were doing is far more sinister and evil deriving satisfaction from the infliction of the physical mistreatment of children. In videos circulating of videos Ruby herself has put on the internet, she can be seen complimenting some of her children for the way they accepted a verbal lashing that she gave. And she chuckles at her eldest son recounting not having a bed for seven months. She thinks that this is all funny. It's sick. I will continue to follow this case and update you guys, but again, I have to shout out the channel Jordan and McKay, who are very knowledgeable on this case. They have been following the story of eight passengers for many years, and they are also ex-Mormons, so they have the unique perspective on how these women have used their religious beliefs as a factor in the mistreatment that they have perpetrated on others. I will link their channel in the description of this this video as well as all of the sources I used for this video. As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. 
Follow me on Instagram, threads, and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.